Hello guys, when working with Laravel and Vue.js single page applications, it's not only about authentication with Laravel Sanctum or Passport, but also about authorization, so roles and permissions for certain features. And in this video, I will demonstrate how we implemented roles and permissions in our Quick Admin Panel Vue.js generator, which is single page application, the newer version. And I will show you how to protect your routes for SPA both on the front end with one NPM package and on the back end from the API. First, I will show you how it works and then we'll dive into the code. So by default in our generated admin panel, there are two roles, admin and user. And I'm logged in as admin and let's change some permissions. If I go to roles, simple user has fewer permissions than admin, as you can see. And I'm logged in as a simple user in another browser. As you can see, there's no user management here. And also if I change some permissions, for example, here, for example, let's remove company delete from the list. So we save the set of permissions for that row and every user of that row, if we refresh the page, see the icon of delete on the right. I refresh the page, I don't see that anymore. So this is restricted both on the front end and the back end. And not only that, with single page application, you need to restrict that on the click of the route, which is not refreshing of the page. So you need to query the abilities or permissions from the server whenever something is changed on the route. And we also implemented that so if I return that company delete from the list and save that for the permission from the admin and then I click employees and then I click back companies, the icon should be back and it is back. So this is how it works visually. Now let's take a look how it looks in the code. Let's start with protecting the front end. So showing or hiding menu items or buttons. And we will use this package for that. Castle view is an NPM package to integrate abilities with view application. It was created by this man, by Sergey from Kiev, Ukraine. So thank you for that, Sergey. And the package itself works pretty easily. So you install the package, or actually there are two packages, Castle View and Castle Ability. And then you just list your abilities somewhere or take them from the API if you want. And then whenever you need to check the permission, you just do can create post, for example, or can something. So dollar can is the actual check whether someone is eligible to get that permission. And if we dive into the PHP Storm code, this is exactly what you can see. Castle ability and castle view is in the package JSON as dependencies. And then we import that in the file called global components. It's kind of a resources JS app JS, but in our application, it's a bit more complex. So we have separate global components. We use the abilities plugin imported from these two lines. And then on the sidebar where we have menu items, there's sidebar view component and for each of the items on sidebar links we check the can permission by item.gate. Sidebar links are described in a separate file it's kind of a router list but we call it dashboard layout. Here are the links so the dashboard without any permission and then there's user management with gate. So this is the name of the gate and this is exactly the gate that is created on the back end in Laravel. And then every child, so children, every child may have the gate. If there's no gate, then it's accessible to everyone like the dashboard. But then there's permission access, role access, and this value becomes on the sidebar item.gate. And this is the sidebar item group. And for every group, there are sidebar links. So sidebar link is actual link for router. And here we check if item gate is undefined, which is empty, public menu item, or can item gate, then we show that. Otherwise, menu item is not visible. Now, how do we fill in those abilities, the array of abilities from the backend? And this is done in a file event hub. It could be done elsewhere, for example, after login. But this is a more complicated structure to watch any change of the route to refresh the abilities not only on the page refresh, but also on any click of any route, as I showed you before. So in this video, I won't explain what event hub is, but just understand that this happens on every change of every route. And we get the abilities from the API and update them with the package with castle package, this ability update function. Next, what is abilities and what does it return? Let's go to the browser, to this page. Let's open network console. We refresh and let's open it up and you see abilities here. And this is the response. So it returns the array of all the possible abilities from the backend, all the gates. On the backend, it's called gates. On the package of castle, it's called abilities. It's the same thing in this case. 
Next step, how do we define those? On the back end in the database, we have a structure of database pretty similar to Spati permission package, but we created by ourselves to avoid any external dependencies. So it's a pure Laravel without any packages. Permission table, roles table, then permission role for pivot table, which roles has which permissions, and then role user, which user has which roles. And abilities are returned from this controller. And we return all permissions by that logged in user. In our case, user authentication is done with Laravel Passport, but you can use Laravel Sanctum or whatever. In any case, you have the user who is logged in. We take the roles with permissions and with some collection operations, we return the array. And we refresh those abilities from the API every time something is changing. So for example, when I click permissions, as you can see, another abilities call. Now we covered how to hide and show menu item or any button on your page, so can something, but it's not enough to secure the visual menu item. Maybe someone would know the URL of the API and would try to access that. And to secure that, we use the same gates and permissions. And this is the beauty of the solution because you can reuse the same gates, the same permission names for the front end and the back end. So if we open, for example, company's API controller in index, I will close the sidebar. This is how it looks. In index, we check if there is a company access ability. And in store, that check is inside a form request in authorized. So we return 403 forbidden whenever that ability is not present. And we define all gates, final layer of all that puzzle in a middleware called auth gates which is called on every API request. We just put all the permissions from all roles of that user and we do gate define. So basically on any API call, the return of that will be like, I don't know, 20 or 50 gate define statements. So this is how we protected our SPA with Vue and Laravel. You can implement it in your SPA projects with that castle package and with backend solution for any roles and permissions, or you could use Spotty permissions package or Bouncer or whatever on the backend. This is just our solution. And if you want to use our solution generated code, you can do that in our quick admin panel in yearly plan. You can choose when creating a new project, whether you want jQuery version or Vue.js, which was the topic of this video. So that Vue.js version has the Laravel API auth and abilities permissions with Vue Router and Vuex. And I'm going to shoot more videos about Vue.js in Laravel, so subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.